Now, Prime Minister Modi has uh, sprung another surprise with uh, the pick of Mohan Yadav as the new Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh. The baton has uh, been passed by Shivraj Singh Chauhan and the 58-year-old leader who is also from the OBC community will now take charge of Madhya Pradesh. Ms. Yadav will have two deputies, Jagdish Devra and Rajendra Shukla. Meanwhile, former Union Minister Narendra Singh Tomar, who contested the state polls, will be the speaker. Well, we first take you through the bio of Mohan Yadav, then we discuss the impact of this move on 2024 and the message Prime Minister Modi is sending by appointing an OBC leader as a Chief Minister. We are also being joined uh, by Vinita Hariharan, BJP spokesperson. Alok Mehta, Editorial Director of India News is with us as well. Priya Segal, Editorial Director of News X joins us on the program as well. Himanshu Bhatt, Political Analyst and last but not the least, Mr. Sumit Peer, Senior Political Commentator on the program as well. I'm going to go to the big screen and try and tell you who Mr. Mohan Yadav is. What's his background? Where does he hail from? And what has he done to qualify for this big position of... Uh, the new Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh. We'll talk about his origins. He was born on the 25th of March, 58 years of age in Ujjain, Madhya Pradesh, OBC Chief Minister, uh, only Yadav Chief Minister in the country at this point in time. He's been a BJP loyalist. Of course, uh, he belongs to the Malwa region in Madhya Pradesh. Uh, on the 2nd of July 2020, he took oath as a cabinet minister. Of course, that was under Mr. Shivrat Singh Chauhan, who uh, is, of course, the outgoing chief minister of uh, Madhya Pradesh. He became MLA for the first time in 2013 from uh, the Ujjain Dakshin, which is the South Ujjain constituency. He was, uh, in fact, uh, uh, prolific when it comes to educational degrees. He's got a BSc, he's got an LLB, he's an MA, an MBA and also has a doctorate in political science. Uh, in 1982, he was the co-secretary of the Madhav Science College Students Union. In 1984, uh, he was the president of the Madhav Science College Students Union and the city minister of the ABVP as well. Started out with the ABVP and of course his roots have always been with the Bharati Janata Party. In 1988, co-minister of ABVP, Madhya Pradesh and the member of the National Executive as well. 89-90, Minister of Council of State Unit uh, from uh, Madhya Pradesh as well, a career spanning over four decades now. In 1991-1992, he was of course uh, uh, appointed as the National Council Minister in 2004 to 2010. He was the Head of Development Authority in uh, Madhya Pradesh. Uh, in 2008, the Head of the Bharat Scouts and Guides, 2011 to 2013, the Cabinet Minister of Madhya Pradesh for the first time. And that's also the time he became an MLA from uh, the uh, same constituency, which is, of course, Ujjain Dakshin constituency in 2013. From 2013 to 2016, he was the co-convener of the All India Cultural Cell. 2018, re-elected as the MLA from Ujjain constituency and in 2020 became a cabinet minister in the Madhya Pradesh government under Shivrat Singh Chauhan. So that is the biodata of uh, the new Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh in 2023. As we already know, he was an MLA who won successfully for his third term in the Ujjain Dakshin constituency, became the Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh now. Of course, he is uh, he's somebody who is uh, uh, going to be extremely popular in the days to come. But so far, most of us perhaps did not know too many details about him. We're going to start this debate. I'm going to Priya Sagal. Uh, Priya, if you can hear me, thank you for being here. Yes, I can, Vineet. Well, once again, a lot of familiar faces from Madhya Pradesh left out. Uh, and we have somebody as a chief minister who perhaps, you know, is not as popular as some of the big names who are in contention for this pivotal post. But that is to be expected from the Bharati Janata Party. They call themselves a cadre system. They believe in elevating people, people who have elevated themselves by serving the party from ground up. Is this a template that the BJP has followed in other states as well, according to you? And how is this likely to going to serve the BJP, you know, as another template for the Lok Sabha elections in 2024 as well? 
Well, Vineet, I think the question really is not who is the chief minister, but who is not the chief minister. I mean, today, if there is one person who must be unhappier than Kamal Nath in all of Madhya Pradesh, it is Shivrat Singh Chauhan. He waited till now to give his resignation to the governor. I'm sure he was hoping that, you know, somewhere or the other, that the prime minister would give him a break and make him see him again. Because all said and done, his Ladli Behna scheme did work. You know, the election was as much as Narendra Modi's to win as it was Shivrat Singh Chauhan's. So the lesson over here, of course, is the prime minister and Amit Shah and Modi in this BJP don't like uh, tall uh, leaders who are, you know, they don't like regional fiefdoms. They don't want leaders who can at any point pose as a challenge to them, which is why, of course, the appointment of someone, as you rightly said, has worked his way up from the grassroots, but hasn't yet worked his way to become a fiefdom, to become a regional fief. You know, he's not really got his um, uh, following and his uh, whole uh, team in place in that sense. He will be um, cipher. He will take directions from the center. He will not be a threat to the Prime Minister uh, of uh, Amit Shah. And also in this new BJP, I think there was also a problem uh, which happens, I think, in most uh, places where there is a generation change, which is, uh, you know, you have someone from the old guard towering over you. In terms of seniority and age, no, not so much physical years, but the age of uh, experience and age they put in time, they put in the party. Both Shivra Singh Chauhan and Vasundra have spent as much time as say, Narendra Modi. So to give them directions and orders could have been a little problematic for the Prime Minister. Hence, he's promoting his own team, he's getting his own people in. The symbolism is also very important. Now, Mohan Yadav is the only Yadav chief minister in the entire country. The message that must be sending to, uh, say, our friend Akhilesh Yadav and other, you know, OBC leaders is going to be tremendous. They had a tribal leader in Chhattisgarh. They're going to have a tribal, uh, an OBC chief minister in Madhya Pradesh. And I'm sure I won't be wrong if there's a woman in um, Rajasthan who is not Vasundha Raji. Let me also add that hmm. uh, if we're talking about Rajasthan. But definitely, uh, it's more in the terms of symbolism than the person involved, you know. We all have to Google who Mohan Yadav is. But we know what he stands for. We know that he brings to the table an OBC oh. presence. He brings to the table uh, someone who will uh, represent Team Modi Shah. And this is the message that he's going to be taking the Prime Minister 224. Also, that these are the people he's looking to build his own team. He doesn't want people who are going to challenge him, people who come with a baggage, people who come with a past or whatever, you know, uh, whether it's a good past or a bad past. He doesn't want, he wants fresh faces, young faces, a clean slate. And that slate will have only one stamp, that is of Modi and Shah. That's the bigger message that you're asking, Vineet. Hmm. All right. Okay. Good points there, Mr. Mehta. Uh, are you surprised by what the BJP has done or, uh, you know, did you think that this was always something that uh, was on the cards? You know, the old guard is going to be rested. You know, they are looking to the future. The trajectory has to point towards 2024. They have to keep in mind, uh, you know, that the mandate is all about change. The mandate is not about having the old guard. Perhaps Mr. Chauhan is going to get some sort of an elevation uh, in Delhi. Uh, Vineet, uh, thank you very much. I think uh, I will defer some extent to Priya because uh, she's a very experienced national leader, uh, editor. But you see, I know the background of the Shivraj Singh Chauhan and Mohan Yadav also. Mohan Yadav, first point is he's a choice of the Shivraj Singh. Same thing what Raman Singh did in uh, Vishnu uh, there, uh, Vishnu Dev Sai is a tribal leader. Uh, Shri Dev Sai was also choice of the Raman Singh. Shivraj Singh Chauhan developed this Mohan Yadav and Mohan Yadav was contemporary to the J.P. Nadda when they were working in a, uh, those days when he was also in Yudhyati Parishad. You know, that's why the combination since long, since last four or five years, I belong to the same place, so I know he was eyeing for the chief ministership. Even Shivraj Singh was very much depend on him that's why he was also in the housing board earlier, uh, what you mentioned in his biodata. He's a chairman of the housing board. And that's why he's uh, for the poor people or maybe whatever colonies he developed in Ujjain and some other areas. So that is the, his background. And he was the education minister. And he was very much connected with Amir Shah Ji, J.P. Nadda and Modi Ji, but more loyal to the Shivraj Singh. That's why I totally differ that the Shivraj Singh was aware since when even I am aware that two years back they were planning to change Shivraj Singh but they decided because he wanted to be, continue there and even in fact Modi ji invited him in 2014 when he became the Prime Minister 
कि जॉइन एज एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टर वॉट नरेंद्र सिंह वॉज वर्किंग एज एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टर एंड राजनाथ सिंह वॉज ऑल्सो एग्रीकल्चर मिनिस्टर बट एट द टाइम शिवराज सिंह से दो आई वॉन्टेड टू बी आई वॉन्ट टू वर्क इन ए मध्य प्रदेश दिस वॉज द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ द शिवराज सिंह एंड नाउ मे बी बिकॉज ही मैंने टू थ्री फोर टर्म्स ही आर कंप्लीटेड सो नाउ ही इज रेडी दैट्स वाई यू सी लास्ट वन बी ही वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट आई एम मिशन ट्वेंटी नाइन remember in bjp rss not only the 29 seats he is eyeing for 29 lok sabha election then maybe he will be succeed in the national level also nobody knows who knows that uh, who are aware about the darind modi will be prime minister of india same thing shivraj singh must be eyeing madam earlier also lal krishna advari told in the meeting of third time that's why he was was a very embraced when they said that okay Uh, he is also more capable even than Gujarat Chief Minister Modi ji was there in Gujarat. That's why it was very embarrassing for him also and for Advani ji and for the party. But even then, forget about that background. Shivraj Singh is, will be now a national leader and work for more seats in Madhya Pradesh because if he can get more seats in Madhya Pradesh and other states also as a backward leader, he will go to other states also. The Lali Yojana certainly. he started even before the prime minister modi came in the power so i think this is the combination of the bjp rss mohan yadav is also from vidyarthi parishad amit shah ji was also from vidyarthi parishad jp nadda is also from vidyarthi parishad that's why they and they want to develop a new leadership shivraj singh was the youth uh, morcha leader and that's why he was picked up nobody would thought at the time the babulal god and number of people were there the old gods were there when even from the janta party days the leader were there but even then they chose shivraj singh as a new man at the time atal bihari vajpayee was there so this is the strategy of the bjp mane one should agree or disagree but you see and that's why he will be challenge for up and bihar also because as a yadav and as a young dynamic leader i can understand maybe whatever the prime minister wants or namisha anybody any chief minister do you think that in gujarat or in maharashtra or anywhere the chief minister nobody thought that pardavis should be the chief minister of maharashtra at the time also the pardavis is a chief minister even even the brahman here you people say is a obc but not because of the obc because he was a choice he was acceptable hmm priyaj is very right but you know more dynamic person was uh, even uh, kailash vivargi i feel now i was thinking that he will be, he was also choice of the amisha what he did in 73 seats in bangar but they thought that they will utilize his services in other areas He is committed. His son was MLA, but they thought that okay because uh, Shivraj doesn't like the, neither uh, Vijayvargi nor Prahlad Patel. And Prahlad Patel was not a choice. The channels, everybody was talking with Prahlad Patel, but I know even the high command was not happy with the Prahlad Patel when he was the union cabinet. That's why earlier also they changed his uh, uh, portfolio. Now he was in, uh, but maybe he, but he worked with four times, four times. I mean, he was MP. dynamic earlier experience from atal bihari vajpayee days but because of his controversial image and that's why he didn't get the this leadership and the other person vidhi sharma and all they are very junior in that sense and that's why his choice is a unanimous choice of the leadership plus shivraj singh hmm all right vinita aryan are you there with us Oh yes, I'm there. Well, you know, I I I I just had you know a Congress spokesperson about half an hour ago, and uh, they went on to say that uh, this is unfair to uh, you know Shivraj Singh Chauhan, who's perhaps one of the people who've been responsible for the victory in Madhya Pradesh, and of course the opposition also went on to say, just for the sake of argument, that you know this is something which perhaps allows Delhi to govern Madhya Pradesh more than you know Bhopal would be able to. How do you respond to that? No, absolutely not. I don't know why the Congress, uh, you know, has sudden sympathies and love for Shivraj Singh Chauhan, which they didn't show till today. Uh, but uh, that apart, uh, you know, the entire uh, the ethos behind, uh, you know, selecting people like uh, Mr. Yadav and, uh, you know, in Chhattisgarh, the CM who's been newly appointed, they're all, uh, you know, the people who have been working on the ground. If you look at the credential note, as you have just uh, read out, is. Biodata. It's an exemplary biodata which shows the you know work that he's done at the grassroots level. And what what more do you want uh, from a chief minister who you know has actually worked his way up from the bottoms up, you know, from the lowest rung to the highest uh, rung in the state, and he knows the state in and out. 
So these are all unsung heroes, meritocratic people, you know, from the, uh, you know, you take the top brass apart, then you have the middle layer. So the BJP is all about promoting new people, you know, promoting new karikartas. And we're all karikartas in this party, but it's all about promoting the meritocratic, the unassuming heroes. And the level five leadership, as they call it, management. You know, people who are unassuming, uh, they don't have, uh, they don't, you know, value their, uh, uh, you know, kind of their own celebrity status so much. But they hold the party above and the nation above their and their role. So these are the kind of people who have been handpicked, I would say, by the uh, top leadership. And they were there were central observers. There was a process by which the selection was uh, has happened. It was a scientific selection. It was not an arbitrary random selection. So this is uh, so this is what BJP is all about. You know, we people who work, people who actually work on the ground, their day will come and their recognition will come. They will be rewarded. So that's the spirit with which all of us work here on the ground. So uh, you know, even the you take you know, name the president or drop the murmur. Did she know that she would become the president? So it was all about her hard work on the ground, and all of a sudden she was catapulted to becoming the president of India. So that's the spirit with which the party works. It's not about promoting the same people on and on again. Because you have to rotate roles. You have to, even in any management theory, if you see, you know, you have to rotate roles. You have to give people different roles. You can't keep making the same person the chief minister of a particular state. Right. Shivraj Singh Chong was very happily handed over the mantle to his, uh, you, you could say, his mentee or his, uh, you know, protege or so, so on. Right. So and so, yeah. Sumit Pete, this doesn't really have anything to do with, you know, the caste factor, the OBC, the Brahmin factor, and of course, the deputy chief minister. A uh, couple of them also, you know, from uh, different stratas of uh, caste. This, this, this isn't about, you know, that dynamics. This is all about work hard and get elevated. Of course, the opposition would differ. What do you say, Sumit? Vineet, I'll start from whatever has happened is the history of the Bink BJP and Sangh. You have to understand Sangh ki sabhita and Sanskriti, then you'll be able to understand this whole thing. Look, there was a person who used to mop floors of a Sangh office somewhere in India. He is the Prime Minister of India. There was one more Karikarta who used to post posters for three years in ABBP. He is JP Nadda. There was one more person who comes from a very, very humble background. He is the Home Minister of India. There is one more person who was a Swayam Sevak and Pracharak. He is a Sangatan Mahamantri, B.L. Santoji, right? And he is, I think he has his master's from IIT, if I am not wrong. So, if you see the kind of people who have dedicated their whole life and purpose for the Sangha and Sangatan, how can you keep the power confined to a few people? Then incidentally, if you choose me, you can say my caste is this, this and this. If they choose you, they can say your caste is this, this and this. And if we choose Vinita, you say, okay, because she's a female and her caste is this because she's chosen. You know, you can have logics built around everything. We all will have a caste. We all will have a gender. We all will have, you know, a religion. That is a given. So you cannot interpret the other part of it. You look at how beautifully the Karikarta from the ground is elevated to a level which is unthinkable. Now, Mr. Mr. Mohan Yadav takes over, they will have his quadri of ministers, his, you know, people who are his quite confident, they will also take on. That is how you do the generational change. You know, there was a generational change at, you know, there was Atal Bihari Bajpayee ji, there was uh, Adhwani ji, then there is Mr. Modi, Mr. Amit Shah. So, there is a generational change which has kept on happening in the BJP. How can you have same people being kept to power again and again? Unless and until you are a Congress, which is a private limited company, you can have the same family controlling the power again and again. It doesn't matter how many times you lose. This is again Vineet, it has nothing to do with the caste and all because Sangh does not believe in caste. In Sangh, there is nothing called caste. They don't even know what is caste. So these things are not because he's a Yadav and he's an OBC and all. Okay, obviously he's a Yadav. Obviously he's OBC, but that is not the consideration of giving him a power. So this, if you look at Nitin Bhai Patel, one time MLA, one time MLA, and CM of Gujarat. Now, if you look at a Mr. CT Ravi, unfortunately, he had he lost the election, he lost the post. So, you know, when you have home, when you have MPs and the sting ministers being able to contest, we only have the capability to change 90% of the cabinet in 99% of the cabinet in Gujarat before the election, there's not even one rebellion. This talks about the cadre of the party. The cadre will only be with you when a, when a somebody like Sri Mohan Yadavji will become the chief minister. If it is again the same five faces, like I can be a solid karikarta on the ground, but I don't have the media glare. People in the media don't know me. Nobody knows me. I'm a solid karikarta. What is my future? Either I have to become a Shivaraj Singh Chauhan to become a chief minister. Well, who was Shivaraj Singh Chauhan before 50, 18 years? He was one of them. So this is how you elevate. This is the examples of Amit Shah ji, Modi ji, Nadda ji. If you look at these people, have all come down from the ground. They've all done the hard work. This is the continuation of the process. This is where the thing happens. You know, as media, we can contemplate these five, six names. But I told you, Vinit, I was one hour before with you. I told you, look, Sir Sarpa is Anewala. Sir 
enterprise is 101% going to come and that is exactly what happened look at the normal karyakarta at mp how rejuvenated they will be how charged they will be how will the all young and budding mlas who have made it for the first or second time day to day feel like in anywhere in india i can be the chief minister it's not among being the heavyweight there's nothing called a heavyweight in bjp it is your capability of producing your capability of winning your pro- pro- capability of being a part of the organizational philosophy and the matrix if you are there it doesn't matter how tall your stature is it's not a wrestling it's between heavyweights featherweights and super heavyweights and super featherweights it's nothing like that karyakarta can become a prime minister karyakarta can be become a chief minister karyakarta can become a home minister karyakarta can become a you know a grah mantri and karyakarta can become a sangathan mahamantri this philosophy this ethos is repeated again only the names will change but the pattern will remain the same when you look at the history is the same old pattern who is going to come after prime minister modi nobody knows who will be 20 years down the line nobody knows we again we may or may not be there there will be a different person who is unknown unseen and mr shivraj singh chauhan Lake Sarwanan Sonunal ji is a national leader he has a role to play in the national politics and he is a tall leader and he is a go getter so why come find him only to mp why not to use him at a national level that is the logic what has been contemplated not that bhai isko hata diya isko gira diya no you had your say for you had your you know pie of cake for 18 years 18 years is a long time is almost two decades how it is your graciousness that allowed the next generation to come on and you go to a much higher better platform and who knows in 2029 you can be even a prime ministerial candidate nobody knows that is how bjp works that is how the cadre works vinith the cadre has to be kept motivated and rejuvenated with one exception anybody can reach the top post and that tradition and that it has they have hold it again this proves the point vinith all right we have run out of time mr manchu but we'll take your thoughts and then uh, end the show uh what 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 kind of a dynamics does it present and uh, you know how is this also something which can be considered a master stroke for the lok sabha elections in 2024 it's something like this i'll say i'll, I'll agree to a bit to uh, alok ji's uh, thought you know that it's a shivraj singh chauhan's choice basically this is what happens in a cadre based party i was telling rushab also yesterday in a debate that you know bjp has a tendency to follow up process and in selection also they do follow up process so when the process is totally followed what happens is elders are given their due respect and asked what could be the choice and if that is convenient for the state because what shivraj singh chauhan was 40, 18 years ago is today probably mohan yadav see that is the, that is where the similarity is coming and that's the way natural progression goes If I look at, if I play devil's advocate and look at it the other way, in before Gujarat election, one and a quarter years ago, they changed the entire cabinet. Bhupendra Patel came in against the wishes of so many bigger leaders. But today he is again with a historic mandate. He is running the Gujarat government. Here again, what if you see very carefully, you know all these you know scenes that were t- taking place, you know outside when they were selecting this. Uh, leader there were so many people who were talking for parath patel there were some people who were talking for shivraj singh chauhan there were some people ready for even jyotirath in this india somewhere down the line when you have a problem of plenty this is what i call problem of plenty you know what happens is the top leadership is always in a mind that i do not want to disappoint anyone so i will not be surprised i'll stick my neck out and say maybe maybe sumit will agree with me that what will happen is it's about 100 days to perform and then after 100 days when the lok sabha tickets are given the old star words like prahlad patel of course narendra singh tomar is will have to be a speaker but other people will be given the ticket and gone going back there to lok sabha i will not be surprised with that if that is the process they are following and that shows that every mantri every pradhan mantri every mukhya mantri is first a karyakar he follows the dictates he follows the process and that is what is happening with bjp so tomorrow also be sure when it comes to rajasthan be sure that you will have someone new and in you know in gujarat we had that term invented called skylab a skylab will come and fall this is what has happened today this is what has exactly happened today and probably you won't know after 5 years you will be saying mohan yadav has performed exceedingly well 
Ah, mind you, let me tell you one thing. You gave a huge bio data office. I know for one thing, you know, that in before fighting these elections, he declared in his election um, that he has the assets worth of 45 crores. There's nothing wrong to that. Just see the pattern what I'm talking about. In Gujarat, you have a CM who's a realtor. All right. So All right, Mr. Bhatt, unfortunately, we've run out of time as well. But great points were made here, great arguments, of course, mostly in favor of uh, the new choice for the Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.